Dear students, this is Mr. Mihir Sina, Assistant Professor of Economics, SR College. In this video class, I am going to discuss about an imperfect market type that is known as monopoly, which is covered in the syllabus of BA Economics Semester 2 under Ashram University. These are the topics which will be covered in this, under this unit. You know that in economics, market condition exists two types of competition. One is called perfect competition, another is called imperfect competition. To be a perfect competition, the market must exist large number of sellers who are selling or producing homogeneous goods. That, mean, that means goods must not have any differences in quality. Goods must be similar in or goods must be same in quality. It may, or you may say that goods must be perfect substitutes of one another and must be sold at a same price. Then the market is called to be considered to be perfect competitive market. Such market condition does not, such market type does not exist in real world. So it is also called to be an imaginary market. In contrast to that, whenever the goods sold into the market are differentiated in quality, that means some differences are existed in its quality, or you may say that um, goods are heterogeneous in quality, or we must say that goods are close substitutes of one another, then the market is called to be imperfect competitive market, whatever may be the number of sellers. If the number of sellers is one, then the market is called monopoly. And if the numbers are two, then it is called duopoly. And if it is more than two, but not many, it is called oligopoly. And if the number of sellers are many, who are producing close substitutes of one another, then the market is called monopolistic competition. Now, what is a monopoly? The term monopoly is derived from the combination of two words. One is mono, means single, another is poly, means seller. It means the market doesn't have any competition. That is the reason the market is also called to be monopoly and not monopoly competition. Thus, the market monopoly is a market where only one single seller selling a commodity which must not have any close substitutes. As the number of sellers is only one, the, there is no difference between the basic difference between the concepts of farm and industry also. That means the farm and industry are equivalent to one another. Now, the conditions of monopoly. To be a monopoly market, there must exist only one single seller and must not have any close substitutes. And the third most important condition that is the firm, who is the authority, who has the right authority to supply the or to control the entire market supply. He decides what to be what quantity to be sold into the market or supplied to the market and at what price. That is the reason he is also called to be the price maker means monopoly seller is the price maker and output determiner also. Fourth, it is legal restriction of entry and exit. This is the licensing system imposed by the government to keep the market monopoly or to make the market monopolized one. Last, it is profit maximization which is the sole objective of a seller or producer whatever may be the market condition. Next, there is emergence of monopoly. What are the reasons behind the emergence of monopoly? The reasons behind the emergence of monopoly that is barriers to the entry of new firms. The restrictions imposed by the government are called to be the barriers to the entry of new firms. And some restrictions are economic one or depending on economies of scale of the production unit. So the patent or copyright is one of the type that is one of the license system, license provided by the government to a particular firm which is restricted to, um, whose production is restricted to that particular firm and cannot be produced by any others. Such type of um, license is called to be patent right or copyright. And next, that is another important factor, essential raw materials, control over on essential raw materials. Some of the raw materials which are listed as essential by law because 
depends on the use of these raw materials an economy sustain in future or sustainability of an economy's development depends on the use of such raw materials and the sustainability of environment also that is the reason such raw materials are listed as essential and whose control are taken by the government in that case its product its related production or its it is based producers or production are um, restricted or may be kept under the control of the government for the welfare of the nation or welfare of the masses for example you may say that defense production defense arms related raw materials arms production related raw materials um, iron and steel coal thermal hydel these are the sources raw material sources on which some of the productions are depends and that productions are monopolized or restricted by the government through licenses to control the use of such essential raw materials next that is grant of franchise by the government this is another important factor but it is very popular to the private sector and it's it is also a we must say it is also a type of patent or copyright but it is restricted to a particular area that is the reason in that area the production of that commodity is monopolized fourth most important that is the reason behind the emergence of natural monopoly that is called to be economies of scale it is related to large scale production in it in case of large scale production in it producers produces larger units of goods as a result their production cost will be minimum cost will be mm, at a very low and for which they may sell at a lower price also which other firms couldn't do in that case such type of production becomes monopolized because competitors couldn't face or their their rivals may fail to compete with such large scale units in that case natural monopoly emerged last that is established firms advertising and brand loyalties those firms who are established and already in a enjoying super normal profit or maximum profit in the production they tries to improve their brand loyalties and spend huge amount of um, expenditure on advertising to cover the end market in that case natural monopoly will emerge this is another factor behind the emergence of monopoly now last there is another another condition of important factors which on which um, price determination is depends in case of monopoly though the monopoly market is a single seller market he can enjoy the right to determine whatever the price but there is some restrictions the restrictions are one of one restriction is that substitute goods normally there are some substitute goods of monopoly products producers if the monopoly seller charges higher and higher prices for the for his commodity the consumer unable to purchase that commodity and may change his preference desire to the substitute goods which will unnecessarily lower his tier uh, or unnecessarily lower his sales and unnecessarily lower his tier and as well as his profit so the monopoly seller never charges lower price in case due to presence of substitute goods another factor that is fear of potential rivals monopoly seller always aware about the potential rivals because if he charges higher and higher prices the authority may withdraw the restriction of monopoly right of production by delicensing the production so monopoly seller never charges higher prices another important factor in case of price determination under monopoly that is elasticity of demand elasticity of demand for a particular commodity may differ from one individual to another individual just like in case of electricity um, commercial demand is elastic inelastic highly inelastic 
and in case of um, domestic demand or domestic consumption, electricity demand for electricity is highly elastic, and but in case of commercial, it is inelastic. In that case, monopoly seller enjoy to determine the price in discriminating way from different sellers, different buyers for the same commodity, he charges different prices. This is called discriminatory monopoly. In such case, it is called discriminatory monopoly or you may say the condition is price discrimination or the feature of determining the different prices to the different buyers for the same commodity. These are the basic things under monopoly.